Hey guys, Cody here, and uh, today in this video I'm just going to show you how I make abstract backgrounds, or at least one way. Um, this video was actually part of a longer video where I created a whole piece, but uh, the piece didn't turn out the way that I wanted to, and I, I realized why, um, and I'll kind of explain it maybe as I go along. Actually, I'll probably cut the video off so you won't see it. Anyway, um, so with a lot of the paintings that I do, I'll use usually like two colors in the back. Um, on this piece, I was going for kind of a southwestern color. So I knew that I was going to be using turquoise, and it's a copper that I had in my hand. The copper I didn't dilute, but normally I would. The turquoise is actually watered down, and here I'm using the gloss enamel for the turquoise, but the copper is actually a metallic it's well it's a metallic but it's uh, modern masters um, and then the turquoise is my normal done inwards now one thing that i learned over the last year or so of painting is that with the backgrounds you actually don't need a lot of paint see one of the things that i did when i first started was i used a ton of paint right off the bat and the problem with that is when you use a lot of paint, it's harder to mix. Now, you can make it work, but the colors are really dominant and you just end up using a lot of unnecessary paint, I've found. Now, if you can pull it off, great. That's awesome. Um, but if you're trying to really get the most out of it, you really don't need as much paint as you think you do, or at least I didn't. Um, so that's why the turquoise here is really wet. Um, I didn't wet down the copper as much. I actually didn't water it down, but if I had, it probably would have spread a little more. Now you'll see that I'm using a spray bottle, just simply water. Another challenge that I have uh, is that I'm in Arizona, so I'm kind of battling the heat here because it's starting to get warm. You know, it's this video is like at the end of March, so it's already warming up. Um, but essentially what I'll do is I'll just put a little bit of paint around the canvas and just try to pull out as much as I can from what's already there without adding too much unnecessary paint. Now the reason I did it here is because I was trying to lighten it up. There was a lot of dark spots, which, you know, for this piece I was trying to avoid. Um, and some of the paint was starting to dry again. So you really have to kind of keep it wet if you're trying to create that background and really just, you know, work it around as much as possible. You want to kind of use, a lot of it is, depending on what you're going for, a lot of it is kind of rounded brush strokes or soft arches or kind of waves. Um, unless you're trying to create, obviously, a specific type of look. Um, but that you'll notice that that's what I do is a lot of just kind of overlapping soft arches. And... I really kind of just worked away the copper. I, I didn't want the copper to be so dominant. I actually just kind of wanted it to be in the, you know, there, but not dominant. Um, so, so kind of subtle. Um, so you'll see that I, I am going to add a little more because I felt that, you know, it was very heavy in the middle, but I, I still wanted it to kind of play out to more of the edges. Um, but you'll see that I'm, again, I'm just kind of working it with these soft arches to really kind of, to kind of fade it, I guess. The biggest thing with creating backgrounds is really just pulling it out as much as possible. And also, you know, using, you know, water with acrylic is really good. Obviously, if you're using oil, you'd have to use some kind of thinner. I use gloss enamel. That's, it's like a latex-based gloss enamel. So it's essentially the same as acrylic, so I can just thin it down with water. And, uh, you know, that's what I did here. And once I had it kind of to the point where I wanted it, um, it was a little heavy on the copper on one side, but it was okay for what I was doing. Um, I realized part of the way through that I wasn't going to need it as much for what I was trying to do, and that's why I kind of went over it. But a lot of times you can get away with just a little bit of paint, less paint than you think. 
and really just you know using thinner or water depending on what type of paint you're using and to really pull it out so that's that's my essential of what like advice is you you don't need as much paint as you want or as you as much as you might think if you're just trying to learn how to do backgrounds you can get away with you know thinning out a little bit of wet paint and kind of going from there now here what i'm doing is i'm just painting the sides of the the painting because i already know that this is going to be the dominant look and color of the painting and it makes it a lot easier for me than having to go back and trying to paint over it once it's done right so for me i will usually paint the sides a continuous color of the painting um, or complementary colors so a lot of times i'll just go ahead and i've kind of gotten in the habit of painting it right off the bat if i can and that way it's already done and then i will just kind of fan in you know the edges because it kind of creates a little bit of a border but it also adds to the effect and it allowed me to kind of make that copper a little more subtle and uh, that's pretty much it that's how i make backgrounds i hope this video helped if it did please like rate share subscribe check out my other videos and my links and i will catch you guys in another video have a good one